Hello and welcome to Let's Enter the Arena. I'm your host, VM Campos, and this is the podcast where I talk with a member of the Magic the Gathering community, where we focus on Magic Arena. I've got a brand new guest to the podcast. Hello, my name is uh, Top Hat Talab. Uh, you can just call me Talab. Thank you so much for joining the podcast. Would you like to uh, promote anything, a Twitch, a Twitter, anything like that? Oh, sure. Thank you. Uh, uh, glad to be here, for one. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, I do have a Twitch. Uh, my Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash top hat to lab. And uh, I do have a Twitter, and it is uh, the same thing, twitter.com slash top hat to lab. You can also find me on Facebook uh, by searching uh, MTG to lab. Well, how long have you been playing Magic in any form? Well, so I started uh, playing Magic in... Uh, I got my first deck for my birthday in uh, December of 1993, oh, which nice. uh, the set at that time was beta. Mm. Um, and I got my first deck and I played for quite some time. I played until Cold Snap. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when I, I stopped, I had, <laughs> I'd actually given all of my cards away. Oh. Um, and I look back at it now, of course, and see, you know, I'm sure I had duels and all sorts <laughs> of other stuff in there and it just, yeah, it hurts the soul, you know, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I, I stopped in cold snap. Uh, and then I picked it back up again in, uh, the return to Ravnica block and I've been playing ever since. Yeah. I think that's one of the great things about the game that it just keeps evolving and so now it's evolved over to magic arena the latest and greatest digital way to play magic so how long have you played magic arena um so i was uh, one of the very first uh, people into the uh closed beta mm -hmm. of magic arena and i've been playing ever since what would you consider your overall skill level to be in any form of magic beginner intermediate advanced somewhere in the middle um I would say I'm kind of in the middle of intermediate and advanced, probably lean more towards advanced. Uh, but I mean, I, I'm also one of those people I don't like to over oversell myself. Sure. So I kind of, you know, I, I want to kind of lean towards a, a lower tier. Um, a lot of my friends will say that I'm advanced because I do think, think several turns ahead and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm when i'm when i'm playing competitive i'm a spike and i and i play mm -hmm. control decks and i and i a lot of it is like a chess game for me uh when i'm playing um for fun i'm a johnny i mm -hmm. i love combo and mm -hmm. uh and again combo is one of those things is you, you may not be thinking several turns ahead of like what they have but more as several turns ahead of if i play this one card can i combo in three turns mm-hmm uh, what's your favorite card at the moment that you're enjoying on Arena? Um, that really depends on my my uh, style uh, that I'm playing currently. Again, I, I like to play different styles. If I'm just playing for fun, um, I would honestly say Omniscience. Uh, mm -hmm. I love Omniscience. I think mm -hmm. it's a very fun card. It's a it's a broken card. If you can resolve it and mm -hmm. and go off, then great. But I mean, if if I'm going to say where I'm going competitive and I'm grinding the ladder, I mean, everybody knows that Teferi's great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you uh, run uh, Teferi and Little Teferi in, in any of your decks? Um, I do. I uh, So I run a very traditional uh, style of Esper control, and I know it's not the best right now. I know Esper Hero is better, but I just very, I, I find that deck very boring. Mm. Um, and that's just, again, my play style. I, I'm a very, con you know, I don't like tapping out on my turn. I just don't like it. It's not my style. And it, it, to anyone that does, then, you know, by all means, enjoy what you play. But I, I like my counter spells. I like to be very, you know, very retroactive. Uh, again, it's like a chess match for me. I like to be able to like, should I counter the spell or should I wait to see if they're going to play something or, or are mm -hmm. they baiting me, you know? Mm -hmm. One of the cards that I'm liking on Arena is Doom Whisper. I just love the sort of like style of it. It's like so black in terms of pay to life and surveil. Okay, so you get to right. kind of filter your 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 draws as much as you want as much life as you want to give and yeah i've lost like uh you know six life sometimes just to kind of get the perfect draws to counter what my opponent's about to do but that's like such the uh, aesthetic of black that uh, victory at all costs i mean if you're at one life and they're dead you still win the game <laughs> exactly what are some decks that you're enjoying on arena at the moment 
Um, so I'm currently really enjoying uh, my Esper control deck. Uh, I also really like blue red wizards. Mm. Um, and then I've also got a, I've got kind of a janky deck that I really enjoy playing just for the fun of it. That relies all on uh, using Masterminds Inquisition to get a thousand year storm out of my mm. out of my uh, sideboard, using Omniscience to draw a bunch of spells, and then. Uh, I have several ways to win. I can uh, wheel away with a um, with the Smothering Tide, mm -hmm. uh, where they can't pay uh, mm -hmm. multiple copies of the wheel, and then win with Revel and Riches. Uh, I have blown up uh, all of the lands, and then exiled the rest of the lands with Unmoored Ego. It's it's a very mm -hmm. meme deck of like I have I can win a different way every single game. Mm -hmm. Well, that definitely sounds like fun, and I hope to never run into it in a dark alley. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So I also, if I'm trying to climb the ladder, I'm going to do something that's okay tier-ish, but I, I'm not too interested in playing the, the decks that everyone's playing. So uh, I'm playing the, the mono blue uh, tempo deck and it gets the job done enough. I've been able to climb up to uh, platinum uh, one and that's uh, pretty good uh, for myself. And if I'm just trying to kind of play fun uh, decks and such. I've got a mono red goblins. It's not the, you know, the red deck wins kind of deck that everyone plays with the Vyoshino Pyromancer and all that fun stuff. It's just goblins. And I kind of like those stipulations about really just uh, focusing on a tribe or a concept. And yeah, there's the detriment that it might not be tier. But if I'm having fun and I'm not quite caring at the moment about climbing the ladder, then it's it's a fun goblin deck. If you consider yourself a little bit more towards the advanced level of, of magic, what would be some advice that you would give to people just starting off? It looks like we've got a big influx of people after War of the Spark and the new hype. So what would you say to them as a new player? Don't get discouraged. Um, a lot of, uh, arena, especially arena, uh, when you're you're playing in the ranked, uh, you're going to find a lot to your decks, and you're going to find players that are better than you. Um, and mm -hmm. being, you know, getting getting pummeled, yes, it is discouraging. But just remember, it's a learning curve, and if you if you take the time uh, to learn, you're going to get better, and uh, it, overall, you're going to have a more enjoyable time. So just you know, don't get discouraged. Be humble. Learn from your mistakes. Figure out what can you do uh, to improve said mistakes. Now, on the flip side, when you were first learning magic, um, what would you say would have been some good advice that you got back in the day? Um, I mean, honestly, and again, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think that advice is, is sound. Um, sure. And then also just... Uh, just being able to check yourself, you know, um, I understood early on that I was, um, I would get frustrated and I would get angry, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, I would like want to quit because I was angry, you know, like somebody would kill my creature and I would, I would get very, very intense about it, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, that, that, that's something that I would have liked to have heard is just like, you know, hey, just remember you're, you're, you're new and these things that, you know, you don't think about, you know, you don't think about, the power and toughness thing when, when you're attacking i've seen a lot of new players where they just like they just turn their creature sideways and they don't think of any kind of repercussions you know and i that's mm -hmm. something that i would have liked to have been told when i first started was think think, think through your turn don't don't just immediately go mm -hmm. right now what would you say is uh something that might be improved about magic either the game the company the community or any thoughts at all um well, Magic Arena, um, I th again, I think that um, adding actual chat would be good. And I, and I want to preface that by saying I, I understand why the developers have gone with the chat system that they have. Mm -hmm. um, but there's been several times where um, you chat something and you may be meaning it in the nicest possible way, mm -hmm. but you can read it as completely wrong. And I think that that's something that it that it it struggles against. Um, you know, the community um, stop roping. If you're if you're getting beat mm -hmm. and you don't like it, stop roping. You're not you're you are you're wasting my time. You're wasting your time. More importantly, mm -hmm. you know, just understand that you've lost and move on. Um, yeah. That's just my personal opinion. Um, again, if you disagree, then you're welcome to disagree with me. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, on the other side of the coin, what is one thing that you love about magic, if you can narrow it down? Um, I really like the community. Um, magic Arena, you don't get it as much uh, as far as like, you know, sitting across. I mean, I, I really enjoy sitting down with my friends, having a beer and playing uh, playing magic. You know, I think that's, that's great. It's just a great pastime. You can sit around and there's no stress involved in it and you can sit around and play a game and it's great. Um, magic Arena doesn't have that. Uh, but I mean, I just, I like the, the thought process that goes through it. And I like that everybody can play a deck completely different, play different styles. You know, there's some people that just really love to play aggro. They love to just, you know, smash somebody in the face as hard <laughs> and as fast as they can. <laughs> and then there's people that like to drag the game out like myself, you know, <laughs> and then there's people like one of my, one of my best friends. He is, uh, he loves to get just incremental value over, over the game. Just pretend like you're not, he's not even there. He's just getting little value, and then all of a sudden he's winning because you, you didn't realize how much value he was getting. And I just love the complexity of just everybody has something different. Mm -hmm. Well, even though Magic is the greatest game in the world, I guess there are other hobbies that exist. Are there any hobbies that you're into besides Magic? Um, yes, I'm a avid uh, Dungeons and Dragons player. Um, I play Dungeons and Dragons uh, twice a week. Um, I also uh, do a stream uh, of Dungeons and Dragons uh, mm -hmm. every other week. It's a, a bi-monthly stream. Uh, I stream with uh, Samus Garobo, um, and I'm a, a dungeon master. Mm -hmm. uh, we're streaming a fifth edition game, and uh, yeah, that's um, uh, we actually stream from multiple perspectives. Of uh, I stream from my my DM side, and he streams from his player side. Mm -hmm. It's a, a lot of fun. That's that's something I'm really into. Um, I'm also a avid uh, craps player. Um, I mm. love going to Reno and Las Vegas and mm -hmm. uh, playing craps. Uh, it's something that I've even thought about doing uh, some some Twitch streaming, doing uh, mm. of uh, some online craps games. Not not for money because Twitch does not allow that, but yeah, for for honor. You know, just for fun of just like, hey, here's this craps. This is the, the strategy of it. You know, and that's something I really I, I love craps. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. Um, other than that, you know, um, I'm very heavily tattooed man. I love go getting mm -hmm. tattoos. That's something I'm also very much into. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I uh, have a comic book collection. That's another one of my hobbies. I've been reading and collecting comics since I was little, and I still have my original Amazing Spider-Man issue number two hundred sixty-six from nineteen eighty-five. So um, that's one of my other hobbies. Besides magic, I'm at the comic shop getting some comics every Wednesday, and uh, that that's my hobby there. So it, it's always good to kind of step away from magic sometimes and do something else that we enjoy. Right. Well, as we wind down, do you have any final thoughts on anything magic-related? Uh, no, I mean, again, uh, you know, we've got the, uh, this is probably going to get posted after it, but there's a streamer event. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about that. This is going to be my first event uh, being sponsored by Wizards uh, and uh, doing that event. That's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to go up on, um, let's see, July 5th. So I released these on Friday for FNM. So we, we've we've passed the streamer event. I'm also in the streamer event. It'll be my second time. And uh, let's talk about it as past tense. So that was a great event that we had. It was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> I won so many, uh, so many coins. Yeah. Well, would you like to promote your social media again? Where can we find you once again to check out your streams and such? Um, so again, uh, my Twitch is uh, twitch.tv slash uh, top hat to lab. That's T O L A B. Uh, the same can be said about Twitter and uh, Facebook is twit uh, facebook.com slash uh, MTG to lab. Um, and then also I can be found on uh, Samus Garobo's chat. That's uh, S A M I U S G U R O B O. Mm -hmm. um, he's another streamer that I, I'm on there. Every single day, and uh, and yeah, I, I, again, I can't promote him more. He's mm -hmm. he's done a lot for me, and I I want to show him that. And you know, I'm I'm on there every day, so come come hang out. Great, I'll put all of these links in the show notes so people can go check you out, check you both out there, and get you some more traffic and views. And I appreciate that. As for myself, I'm over on Twitter, twitter.com/vmcampos. I tweet a little bit of everything every day. 
I'm over on Patreon, patreon.com slash vmcampos. I do various things there for... If people follow on Patreon, you don't even have to pay anything. It's just a great place where I consolidate everything. But if you want to get some of the exclusive stuff, it starts at a dollar. If people want to subscribe at the $2 range, I'll actually mail them some vintage magic cards from back in the day. No, not a Black Lotus and um, if they also want to check me out on YouTube, I'm at youtube.com slash vmcamposjr and Twitch, twitch.tv slash vmcampos. I stream every Saturday, 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Pacific time, and people can come and hang out and we'll have a good time on the stream. Yeah, I will uh, give uh, VM Compost here a, a, a link that will ne- not expire to my Discord. Uh, you're welcome oh, to join my Discord as well. And I would also like to say that I am a variety streamer. So um, if you you know follow me on Twitch, uh, do understand that I may not be playing Magic. I do play Magic. I do stream Magic. But uh, one of my big games that I stream right now is Dungeons & Dragons Online. I stream that very often. And mm-hmm. that's... Uh, that's one of my games that I, that I, it's kind of my go-to, uh, for streaming. So, uh, but you know, again, I am a magic streamer, just mm. variety. Well, Tolab, thank you so much for being on the podcast and I hope to have you in a future episode again. Uh, I'd love to come back and I appreciate the invite and, uh, it was a, a lot of fun, uh, chatting with you. This has been VM Campos and I'll see you in the arena.